Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here with a familiar face, Christine Karst, who's Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of AMA Waterways. Now, uh, we just finished the Asta River Cruise Expo, and unfortunately, Christine couldn't make that one. My buddy Alex Pinella was there, but he had actually lost his voice, so we weren't able to do an interview with him. So I figured I would go straight to Christine and sort of get an update on what's going on with Amber Waterways, where we are, because we've been doing that for all the river cruise companies that attended really an incredible event that Asta has now put on. It's the it's the third time, first time in Amsterdam, and they got another one planned, uh, obviously, in Vienna next year, which I hope Christine will be at because it's going to be, uh, if, if nothing else, Rudy, Rudy Schreiner, your, 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 your partner, he's got to be there. Because uh, he he is Austrian, and I'm sure there's going to be some special things planned. But we're going to talk about all of that and a whole lot more, and what's up with Amma Waterways on Insider Travel Report. Now, Christine, first of all, let's just talk to review. How how many total ships does Amma Waterways have today, and and where roughly are they located? What rivers do you sail? Absolutely. Well, first, let me say thank you so much for having me again, James. It's always such a pleasure. Um, it's a wonderful year. We currently have 26 ships cruising this year. Three of them are still on charter to Australia Pacific Touring. Mm -hmm. uh, that is our partner in Australia until the end of 2024. However, the Amarena, one of those ships, will start in December this year for us. Um, because the demand for the Christmas, the holiday markets is so, so strong. So we needed this inventory. And the Amavenita and the Amastella will be part of our offering to our guests in 2025. So currently in Europe, we have 22 beautiful ships. One, the Amadara on the Mekong River, cruising in Vietnam and Cambodia. Two, on the Nile. In fact, Amadalia is cruising. Amalilia is just getting ready on the Nile. And one on the Choba River in Africa, um, the amazing Sambesi Queen. Right. But we have three more new ships planned for 25. Yeah, that's what, that was my next question. Like, was How many new ships are you going to add? Obviously, and everybody who's been waiting this, you have the two ships you're going to be adding in Colombia, right? And then there's a, another one, right? Absolutely. We are on the growing mode. The times are great. In 2025, we are adding two Ama Magdalena and Ama Melodia in Colombia on Rio Magdalena. And one more on the Douro River, the Ama Sintra, which will start in April next year, our third ship on the Douro River. And when I look at the bookings, yeah, now kudos to all our travel partners. Also, this third ship in Portugal is getting full already. No, that's great. And it's glad you're putting on new ships. And you mentioned a couple of ones that I still dream, the Nile. And obviously, we've been talking about the Mekong for a long time. Uh, I would love to get out there one of these days and also go back to the Nile. Uh, the Nile was actually my first river cruise way back when, before you, your company even existed, uh, 92, I think I went on the Nile, uh, before an ASTA conference, actually. And I loved it. Uh, it really was an amazing experience. But let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the big update. Uh, you, you have your project in Colombia, uh, which you uh, unfortunately had to delay because it's a new destination. You're still trying to figure things out. And originally it was going to be November, but I understand now you've delayed it a little longer, not too much longer, to January uh, 25. Can you talk, tell us a little bit about what's going on? And that will be the first ship. Yeah, this is absolutely... It is, it is correct, and also it's a small delay. But you know, James, as the very first river cruise line to explore this fascinating river and the destinations beyond its banks, uh, Rio Magdalena, it truly is of importance to us that we deliver the very best possible experience for our guests and experience our waterways is known for. And not just on board our newly designed river cruise ships, but on the shore as well. And with this in mind, um, we have made this decision to slightly postpone the launch of our Ama Magdalena into January 2025. It gives us just this additional time that we needed 
to ensure that uh, our Magdalena River cruise and the land journeys meet the very high standard um, and the qualities that our guests have come to expect and for which our waterways, of course, is renowned. So as a German girl, I can say I wish um, it would all go like in Germany, like like this, right? But <laughs> you, Colombia you have, you is a little bit very more great Mariana, expectations. Mariana, <laughs> and we have to deal with, with everything what, what the country offers, the good and maybe also the little bit more laid back way of doing things. That's true. Well, you're, good. you're also looking at two brand new ships that you're going to be putting on a on a river that's never been really had river cruising before. So you you know you do you're right you have to get it right. Uh, my only disappointment is I have never been to Colombia and I always tell you I said I'm going for the first time with you guys and I keep getting delayed. I I I, I now it's going to be 25, but I hope you'll invite me on, uh, on, on Colombia. You're now. way too busy in 24, James. So uh, no <laughs> worries on this. You have enough cruises lined up, um, but you know it, it's also important because I'm sure. Yes, we are the first ones to step into Colombia to go to Magdalena, but. Um, more will be coming because the, the country is so beautiful and the interest is huge. So that's why we, being the pioneers is absolutely great. That's what we have done for 22 years. But we also want to make sure whatever we prepare for everyone else to come, it's all really prepared the right way. And uh, because in the end, it is about our travel partners, about their get, the clients, our guests. We want to make sure that everyone, when they come back from Rio Magdalena, will just have the most magical and enjoyable River Cruise experience. Well, I, I hope uh, I hope Rudy uh, is not saying, boy, I wish it was as easy when I first launched that raft and boat in the Amazon and I've had more trouble with Magdalena. But I, I think when he gets it right. You know, there, there may be where sometimes where he, he, he some some of his gray hair became a little bit more than what he already had. Right. <laughs> but you also know us. Uh, we are not giving up. Um, we just want to do what we really, really want to do. And the country has declared it as a national project. Yeah. So the country is fully behind yeah. us. Um, it's it's just, of course, working with so many things that nobody knew before, um, unexpected things um, that just have, you know, come up a little bit, but we are there to manage it. And uh, I personally, I look very much forward to being there and hopefully you will come in January next year. I hope so too. I hope you'll invite me because I've been waiting. We've all been eagerly anticipating this new rivers. You know, there was a, there's not too many rivers left that, that we haven't been explored, but uh, you're going to be one, you'll be the first in, in Colombia. So let's, let, all right. So that's, that's Colombia. Uh, talk about other, some major new itineraries you're going to be introducing in the next year beyond Colombia. I know there's other stuff going on in Europe, for example, that you will introduce, right? Yeah, I'm actually very, very proud of our new flavors of Burgundy itinerary uh, on board the Amacello. So we started this year, or we will start this year in May, cruising between Dijon, Dijon also very famous for the Dijon mustard, and Lyon. Um, so this cruise uh, will have 12 departures this year between May and September, the end of September the most beautiful season. But we also have extended our Douro River Cruise season until December 28 again. And we started it last year. And the guests who came back really, really enjoyed the Douro in a more authentic time, mm -hmm. November, December. Yes, it's a little bit cooler then, but did you know that in Portugal, there are some wonderful Christmas markets. Lisbon is actually among the top 10 Christmas markets in Europe right now. So um, I'm excited about the Douro, but also we started this year with both the Amamagna on the Danube and the Amalucia on the Rhine River in February. February, the month of love. And um, the Amalucia was more than 60% full mm -hmm. for the first year in February, which really made us very, very happy because there are enough clients who want to be 
in Europe at the times when it's more authentic. Again, less people. Um, the winter season this year, there was almost no winter. The weather was like spring, sunshine all along the way. The airfares are much lower. Um, and it's really a time where families can enjoy themselves, couples, again, Valentine's celebrations, and we continue to do it in the years to come. And I believe more and more river cruise lines will now extend the season because it's totally perfect to cruise in Europe in the month of February. No, I know. I know. One of the issues, it's really almost become year-round river cruising. Uh, you know, we used to have maybe a, a time January and February when there, there, the ships were laid up. Uh, but really, it, uh, it seems like it's year round. And I was lucky enough to go on a Christmas markets cruise with you uh, a few years back. Uh, and it's nice to know we can go find some new Christmas markets to explore because we went all over Vienna. We went everywhere. I remember in the Passau, we had a wonderful time. And to find that Lisbon. Yeah, and, and especially like because that. the Christmas markets are so so popular there. I mean, we started already with um, the Rhone River, the winter markets between Lyon and Avignon and all. I was hosting in December last year, one of those um, winter market cruises. And even I was surprised how beautiful, you know, the cities, the villages have mm -hmm. decorated everything. The markets are a little bit different, but they are equally really boutique style. Um, our Ama Christina was the most beautiful decorated ship, of course, everything, <laughs> what you can expect from the shipboard experience, but also where we are docked in Lyon, right on the other side of the river, there is the big Lyon Christmas market. Oh yeah. And when you go into all these shops and the wineries, the way how, you know, they showcase all their products, there is so much love for this time of the year, the holiday time of the year in a not crowded space. So um, yeah, we always say the holiday markets are sold out. Yes, they are maybe sold out on Rhine and Danube, but there is enough in France and Portugal. And we also have our taste of Christmas market cruises now, where we start in the middle of November, um, because in Vienna and in Budapest, the Christmas markets start to open in the middle of November. So you can spend Thanksgiving still enjoying the vineyards sparkling in their red, orange, yellow colors, and at the same time, um, have some Christmas market taste as well. No, that's great. And, and I think last year you actually invited me on a cruise in December after the ILTM Con, and I unfortunately couldn't go. And, and you also had that Lyon kind of festival of lights that that was there i and i yeah I really, oh yeah i mean that's amazing and i wish i had gone but uh uh hopefully one, the one of the is you have to do it fete lumiere in lyon always around december 7 till 10 is where the french people all come and the facades of the houses of the old town, you know, over the river, everything is illuminated. There are so many festivities going on. Um, I have seen a lot in the world, but this is one of the highlights actually for me personally, as at such a festive time of the year. Absolutely. Now, uh, you also offer a lot of specialty cruises. I know, I, I don't, I think we've lost count of how many wine cruises you have, but tell us a little bit about how many wine cruises and other kinds of specialty cruises you have on offer for this coming year. Yeah, I mean, wine and culinary is certainly the topic number one in the industry altogether. And we now offer more than 70 wine experience cruises on board our ships are uh, all with a special wine host could be a wine host from napa sonoma from um you know maybe the finger lake region on the east coast or niagara wine uh, wine region in canada but we also have many wine hosts from the local areas uh, from france or maybe uh, an Argentinian wine host living in Bordeaux. He becomes our wine host. A lot of interesting people comparing the old world wines with the new world wines. So we bring all the wines together and have in a very fun storytelling way, beautiful wine lectures on board, um, wine paired dinners. Of course, you know, culinary excellence is something what Amar Waterways is famous for. We are part of the Chandler Rochester, mm -hmm. um, 
culinary organization that dates back into history in France, very prestigious. Um, and, um, and we keep going because all these wine hosts, owners of prestigious wineries, winemakers, they all have fun doing it and they bring their wine club members. And this is a huge chance for our travel advisors once they enter this space, team up with these wineries and their wine clubs, there's a lot to do. And it's constantly pushing new clientele, younger clientele also into river cruising. But in addition to the wine, we have now four soulful experience cruises in 2025. Remember, we started on the Rhone on Ama Christina last year. Right. It's our very first soulful experience, celebrating actually the um, African American heritage, um, walking, you know, into the history of Josephine Baker in okay. Paris. But outside of the Rhone and and France, there is so much more to do there. So we have now our first soulful experience cruise on the Nile. River oh, wow. in really? May, May 20 this year. We will do it on the Ama Christina on the Rhone again uh, in June, two departures because we have been selling out. But we also cruise um, on the Doro River on November 16 and um, have there a soulful experience cruise because Portugal and the Doro River have a lot of heritage when, when it goes into this um, African-American um, uh, space. So, and there is more to come in the years, in the next few years, very, very successful. In addition, we offer our next um, a Latin Touch cruise on October 27. That's when we celebrate um, the heritage of Latin America, when we invite our Spanish speaking and Portuguese speaking clients to come on board and celebrate with their peers, no matter if they come from the US or from Latin America, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, all the different countries there. And um, new also is our Grand Danube Christmas time cruise. Oh, wow. Because you know, there is this trend to go longer to Europe while you're flying all the way. So now we combine an upper and a lower Danube cruise from Georgiou in Romania to Wilshofen in Germany, cruising pretty much Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia, Croatia, Hungary, Slovakia, Austria into Germany on board the Amabella and celebrating all the beautiful winter and Christmas markets in this part of the world. In addition, oh, wow. so we are always up for something new, right? The celebration of classical music, those cruises are taking off now because so many of our clients would love to go and explore the musical heritage. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Danube River is the river for this with Mozart and Strauss and Chopin sure. and of course uh, so many composers that worked or were born uh, along the Danube River. So we will have six departures between Budapest and Vienna and um, we also have now five night cruises in December between Budapest Vienna, the magical capitals of the Danube because we see so many of our guests going to Europe to celebrate this time of the year, Christmas, New Year, maybe doing some land arrangements there and having a five night river cruise in the middle of everything. But it doesn't stop here. Oh, wow. Our very own uh, godmother of the year, Amma Magna, TV host, Samantha Brown. You all know her places to love. Sure. Samantha will host the Amma Magna on the Danube on July 28. There's still some space. So if you want to travel with her, she is open. And on August 29, we have Joan Beer, um, a very famous chef from uh, Northern California, hosting the flavors of Burgundy mm. on the Amacello, August 29. Now on top mm. of it, we do Celia cruises. So it okay. was one of our very loyal travel advisors that came with this idea 
chartered two of our ships last year and now they sold out these ships and we know how many people come with food allergies right need gluten-free and we are now the experts the masters in doing it and um now, of course, we have so many more of our clients looking into this, and we, we would be happy to connect everyone with this travel advisor that is currently chartering a couple of our ships in our celiac, um, in our gluten-free environment um, as a celiac cruise. No, absolutely. Boy, you have a lot going on this year uh, with the specialty cruises. And it's interesting because you're doing shorter cruises in some cases, but you also, you started a trend of having longer cruises too. And I, I can't, I sort of lost track of, there was one of you 44 days or something that you were doing all over the rivers, I think. Uh, is that still on or did, did I miss that one? Uh, yeah. Well, of course, uh, you remember the Seven Rivers, right? The longest yeah. river cruise in the world. Um, this was very, very nice, but we also saw, look, the beauty of cruising and also river cruising is you want to unpack once. Right. And there are not so many ships that can really connect or combine all the different rivers that we are able to cruise. So now we make it more convenient. So we do it more in modules. So we, are, we, let's say, um, combine, or so we have these combination cruises in Europe, right? Between 14 and 28 night cruises, where we combine our French itineraries together. So you can, as part of our Grand France series, mm -hmm. you can travel the Seine River. From the Seine, we transfer you over to the Bordeaux area. And from there, we transfer you over to the Rhone and the Saone. Okay. Or we do the same with our Grand Rhine and Dutch Canal cruises. Let's say you do a Holland and Belgium cruise um, at any time of the year, because we are not just doing them during the tulip time. Um, they are very popular. So, and then we do Amsterdam, so Holland and Belgium back to Amsterdam. And from there on the same ship, we go along the Rhine River from Amsterdam up to Basel in Switzerland. Wow. And from mm -hmm. there, again, we could take you to um, by TGV to Lyon and start actually a Rhone cruise or a Seine cruise in Paris. So there are so many combination opportunities where we also organize the transfers between, but we are also bringing back now a few of our magnificent Europe 14 night cruises between Amsterdam and Budapest with one ship, so no ship change there. That's great. No, so that's really amazing how you can pull all these things together and 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 put these combinations. So that's great. Now, one of the things that that you know, Emma Waterways is famous for, you, you know, you have uh, in really invested heavily in the travel agency uh, community in the trade. Uh, and and tell us a little bit about any new programs. That, that you've introduced or you're going to introduce uh, for travel advisors this year. You've done so much. I'm not sure what more you can do, but is there anything that we should look for this year, especially? Well, we are, first of all, we are incredibly grateful to our travel advisors. They are the foundation of our business and will always be the foundation. Without our travel advisors, we could have never built all these beautiful ships and will continue to build. In fact, Travel advisors are driving us forward, always asking what is the next river that we can offer to their clients because once they start cruising with us, they fall in love with our product. Mm -hmm. And of course, our very attentive, genuine crew members on board. So first of all, I want to say we um, have started this year to process commission payments at 30 days prior to departure. Mm. So our travel advisors don't have to wait anymore until the cruise starts. Right. Everything great. is now at 30 days prior to departure. But we also have added new reservation team members to keep our waiting times under 15 seconds, <laughs> even during wow. the wave season. And I think that is a record um, that I'm very proud of because it goes into customer service that Amma Waterways truly is well known for. But we also have added first a very convenient online payment process through our travel advisor portal 
which our travel partners love. So you don't have to call us anymore to do your final payment uh, or your deposits. You can do it in very in a very easy one step online through our travel advisor portal. But our biggest achievement truly has been the integration of a new, very user-friendly online booking engine into our travel advisors co-branded websites oh, wow. so that their clients can book directly with them, our travel advisors, at all times. And it's all about making it easy before the cruise starts, on board from all the logistics and after the cruise. And with this also come our additional FEM opportunities mm -hmm. because with so many new travel advisors pushing into the travel industry, right. we want to educate and inspire everyone always new as well. Whenever I am going to a local travel agency, um, and I hear, oh, I have been on board, but it's now 12 years ago. <laughs> I always say you have to come back because yeah. River Cruising, the product has changed so much. So um, definitely all these fem opportunities. And once our travel advisors are on board with us, we always encourage them to buy our future cruise benefits, okay. which can be used for a 5% savings for their clients' reservations. So on one cruise, a travel advisor can purchase up to 20 future cruise benefits. Mm -hmm. So one person per travel advisor and offer now these additional 5% as an additional saving to the clients combinable with all the other promotions that we have on, on a certain cruise. Well, it sounds like you haven't stopped. So it pays to come on board. It does. And it sounds like you haven't stopped being innovative in terms of the uh, travel advisor programs that you offer. And it's one of the reasons I keep seeing you going up to getting awards from a lot of different travel agency groups. And it seems like you, you've won almost every award uh, there is for whether it's ASTA awards or uh, different consortia, different host agencies. Uh, they recognize really what you've done. And now it sounds like you're doing even more. Yeah, oh, well, of course, again, we are incredibly grateful for our travel advisors because the more they know us and when they come on board, um, the more they really know that it is our desire to really give the very, very best service to our travel advisors. Our travel advisors have the clients and those clients have worked hard. You know, they give the travel advisor and us pretty much the money into their hands to make it the most unforgettable, in a good way, experience of their life. So we owe it to the travel advisors and the clients to constantly, constantly deliver um, over expectations. We always say the best is to under promise and to over deliver. Absolutely. This creates the vow. This is what sets our waterways apart. And um, and we we are having fun with it. And everyone is behind, no matter if it's our team, our crew members on board, our cruise managers. We were just so fortunate for the last 22 years to surround us with people who share our core values. And they all do it with joy, with grace. They live it, they eat it. Every day they breathe it. It's not a transaction for us. And we couldn't think about anything better than to run this business together with our travel advisors. And you've done so it's so well. Uh, another big question you know, most people have uh, lately, because you had a major, uh, not a major investor, investor in your company, uh, uh, Sertaris, which is a large investor in a lot of different travel companies. Uh, they just sold their stake of in your company to another investor group, uh, L. Catterton, uh, which I understand as investments mm -hmm. in other luxury goods and products. Uh, and I understand you even met recently with them. Uh, is there going to be mm -hmm. any impact on your operations or your strategy? Uh, maybe it's a positive one if they want to keep on investing in what you're doing, right? It can only get better, James, right? Because all of this comes with a lot of new future opportunities. So Al Catterton is a leading global investment firm, and it has 
of course, acquired uh, the stake of Satauras, as well as APT and Ama Waterways. Um, and they join us, Rudy, our president, my husband, the godfather of river cruising, and the Murphy family. All of us remain committed to supporting, of course, our company's long-term growth and the innovation in the rubber cruising industry and will continue to have meaningful ownership in the company. See, um, Al Cutterton is, of course, associated with LVMH. Um, you know where LVMH is in, in sure. what space. And um, when I look at these potential opportunities, partnerships we have in the future, then I am very, very proud of our new colleagues. I always say it. Um, and um, and going with them into the future, there are so many wonderful projects uh, to come. Absolutely. And so really there's no no change in management team uh, at Emma Waterways at all. Uh, and you're going to keep on innovating and doing the things, keep on with Columbia. Uh, keep on innovating with your itineraries and keep on uh, working with your tra your great travel advisor program. So uh, uh, travel advisors really don't need, don't need to worry about this. In fact, it may be, as I said, a, a big positive. Uh, Sertaris was a wonderful investor for you. Uh, we, we know them very well. Uh, they've invested in a lot of different travel uh, areas, but now you have uh, uh, this new investor who I think is uh, is hopefully going to help you expand even further. Uh, and I, I don't know if Rudy has any other rivers he's got to worry about because uh, he, he's going to finish the Columbia first. But boy, uh, you, you certainly have the products and new ships. I mean, uh, we we keep pushing and asking you when are you going to do another Ama Magna, and he's always cagely saying, "Ah, oh, well, you, know, you know." We never say no, right? <laughs> well, I mean, that's such we a popular ship. We never say no, ship. of it's course, such a popular everything ship. at the right time to come, yeah. right? Yeah. Because, again, we are European, so we know where we want to go, and we are looking forward in such a brilliant, sparkling future. Um, but, of course, we want to do it at the right pace because we always want to deliver um, the top, top experience, and, uh, and um, it's always quality over quantity right. for us. This is what Amar Waterways is well known for. But there are so many more areas in the world, and of course we keep loyal to the rivers, but there are certainly more interesting areas than Colombia. And we have our eyes open. And again, I'm very grateful for our travel advisors because their clients, once they are with us, are constantly asking, so what comes next? Yeah. So you are driving us forward and we promise you, we will always look at the next areas in our world that could come up and are interesting. And knowing Rudy, of course, where he is in his life, um, we all eat, live, breathe, river cruising. There is nothing better for him. It keeps all of us constantly on the go. Mm -hmm. And similar to Satara's, yes, um, they took an investment in us many years ago, but they pretty much left us doing what we were doing because doing they it. felt we did it right. And I believe it's the same with the new company, with uh, Cutterton. We have many meetings in these times here, but all great meetings looking into the future. So um, no, no changes at all, actually, just great opportunities going into the future. Well, I, I, I was suggesting to Rudy, maybe he has to return to the past, his very first river cruise experience when he built a ship on the Amazon. So who knows? Maybe you could do something <laughs> on the Amazon. There are there is stuff there, but who knows? It 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 could happen. That that's certainly one river. But you're right, there are other rivers to explore. Now, uh, just confirmed, and you already talked about that, but you you will be participating in next year's Asta River Cruise Expo. Uh, and and do you know how many roughly ships you'll be there? Absolutely, for sure. Uh, we have already signed. We will be there again next year. We were there the first years in Budapest. Um, we will have two ships docked in Vienna hosting our travel advisors. Mm -hmm. One is the Amabella. Actually, I'm just uh, leaving for the Amabella this weekend. And we also have the Amarena there. Okay. So Amarena comes back to our fleet, uh, well, is part, always has been part of our fleet, but we chartered, we had chartered this ship to APT, our Australian partner. The ship will go through a renovation and we will showcase this ship then in Vienna 
as well, we have an opportunity to just for a couple of hours to showcase the Amma Magna for the VIP, um, for the agents who have taken the VIP registration. Okay. Um, because the Amma Magna will start cruising in February with regular guests on board. But the ship will be in Vienna with guests during the Asta River Cruise Expo. So, and while our guests are out for the Vienna City Tour, we will have the opportunity to show to some of the ancient Amma Magna. But of course, uh, Vienna is Rudy's birthplace. Mm -hmm. um, that's why uh, he will be there. Um, I will be there, of course, as well. We'll be back. And um, couldn't couldn't think about a better place uh, to return for the next Astar River Cruise Expo. Well, that's great. So you'll have essentially the two ships full time and Emma Magna. So people can take a look at that who may not have seen it. Uh, and it really is a ship that you have to see. Uh, we'll see what, uh, now. Uh, anything else you want to tell our 125,000 travel advisors uh, about uh, Emma Waterways today? And we, we're taking this opportunity now to kind of update everyone about what's going on in river cruising with the Astor River Cruise Expo again, which was an enormous success. It's uh, Vienna's already sold out. Uh, that he's hoping yeah. to get more. I think Zane Kirby, the ASTA president and CEO, is trying to get a few more ships in there so we can get even more people. But it is proven to be such a home run, and it's so indicative of how popular river cruising is and how, how much of a great opportunity is for travel advisors. So uh, anything else you want to say to them? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly the very best investment to see all the different Vivo Cruise lines lined up there, to, to, to stay there, to have dinners, lunches, breakfast there, to meet the people. That is most important is always also about the people, how they welcome you, how they treat you, what uh, do they have, uh, what surprises do they give you. But in general, 2024 is turning out to be a fantastic year again, the best year ever. Thanks to the ongoing support we have received from our travel partners. I am so proud to say that already by the end of January this year, we have surpassed the revenue from 2023. And when I look into 2025, our capacity is already so much more filled with the added inventory than any year before at this time of the year. And today is, of course, early April, wow. um, April okay. the 3rd. So that looks amazing. So thank you all for being on this remarkable 22-year journey with us at Amar Waterways. It feels like yesterday for me. <laughs> We have more wonderful ships, new rivers, new itineraries planned for the future. Just stay tuned. But one more advice, reserve your clients as soon as possible mm -hmm. uh, as space is going very quickly on those special itineraries that I mentioned, okay. like the Christmas time cruises, and maybe look into some of those new itineraries. At the moment, when everything is still very, very authentic, in this part of the world. So thank you so, so much. And uh, I look forward to seeing many of our travel advisors at um, at the ASTA conference in Dallas in uh, late May. Of course, I will be there. Okay. And uh, hopefully um, many of you on board our ships um, on some of those travel agent FEMS seminars on the rivers uh, or at any of the other conferences that will be happening again very, very soon. Thanks so much. Dankeschön. Well, Christine, thank you so much for taking the time. I'm sorry we missed you at the Asta River Cruise Expo this time. We will see you at Asta, the Travel Advisor Conference in Dallas. I'll be there as well. Uh, and of course, I see you a lot over the time because you really are out there in front of travel advisors all the time. Again, thank you for taking the time. And if, if you want to know more about Amma Waterways, just go to www.ammawaterways.com. And I even believe there's a travel agent section. You can go in there and find out even more about everything. You know. So again, great to see you. And I'm going to see you in person, hopefully very soon. Thank you so, so much, James. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.